as he gave a ghostly whistle. You don't be frightened, Thomas. It's only me. Your ugly face is enough to frighten anyone. You're like... Ugly indeed. I'm... A green caterpillar with red stripes. Not to mention you crawl like one too. Uh, no I don't. Who's been late every afternoon this week, hmm? It's the hay, Thomas. Time's time, and Sir Topham Hat relies on me to keep it. I can't have you crawl in the hay for all hours. Now go away. Green caterpillar indeed, fumed Percy. He set off to collect some hay to take to the harbour. Everyone says I'm handsome. Or at least nearly everyone. Anyway, my curves are better than Thomas's corners. Thomas says I'm always late. I'm never late. Or at least maybe a few minutes. What's that to Thomas? He could always catch up time further on. All the same, he and his driver decided to start home early. Then came trouble. Oh no. Ooh! A crate of treacle was upset all over Percy. Percy was cross. He was still sticky when he puffed away. The wind was blowing fiercely. Look at that! exclaimed the driver. The wind caught the pile of hay, tossing it up and over the track. The line climbed here. Take a run at it, Percy. Percy gathered speed, but the hay made the rail slippery and his wheels wouldn't grip. Time after time, he stalled with spinning wheels and had to wait till the line ahead was cleared before he could start again. Oh, now, this is just perfect. Everyone was waiting. Thomas seized impatiently. Ten minutes late. I warned him. Passengers will complain and said Topham Hat. Then they all saw Percy. They laughed and shouted. Sorry I'm late. Look who's finally crawled out of the hay. What's wrong? Talk about hairy caterpillars. It's worth being late to have seen you. Not.